Go to Royal State now for the highlights of this game. Here come the Royals on the field. Luckily County first quarter, Eli Mullis hands off Javon Butler. He gets a good game right there for the Royals. Going to get across midfield and into West Lawrence territory. A few plays later now, Mullis. Little play action, pass to Marquise Brown, who's going to take it home for the score. Six points for Luckily County. He is going to be good and it will give the Royals an early 7 to nothing lead. Now later in the first quarter, Royals will get the ball back and again, Mullis, who wouldn't launch it. Up in the air and look at Jaden Mobley. How about that? He gets it. Brought down around the 15-yard line. A few plays later, ball to Mullis and Mobley would take it for a score. Pretty nice play there. KT would be good, and the Royals had a 14-0 lead at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter action now. Royals again getting the ball back. Mullis again puts it in the air. Von Laster likes to throw the ball, doesn't he? Tyreek Mack gets it, and they're knocked on the door again. A few plays later, Butler, again, the Butler would do it. Just like that, six more points. PAT would be blocked, but still the Royals would have a solid 20 to nothing lead. Later in the second quarter now, West Lawrence unable to do anything. Royals hands again, Moss launches it again. Touchdown again. Brown this time, six more points. PAT good. 27-0 going into halftime. It was all Bluckley County. They went at 33-0. West Lawrence now been shut out three straight games. They'll play at Griffin next week while the Royals play at Pelham.